welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i hope everyone is doing well and everyone is okay um as for me i'm not really feeling um the best and so i have to like postpone the um uh, remodeling of my kitchen for a few days and i was actually supposed to um do my hair i undid my hair yesterday i was supposed to do my hair today and maybe go make my nails because i had like a shoot i i'm supposed to be having a shoot um tomorrow which is on tuesday but um i'm not going to be able to have my shoot sorry for the way i'm talking i'm not really feeling okay and yeah so i currently have this and i also have this and yeah i'm just not feeling the best i got sick yesterday and yeah so i've been receiving treatment in the house um i haven't really shared this in my um page or not a lot of people know this about me but i have um sickle cell anemia and i've had it since um birth yeah so sometimes it really affects me also when the weather changes and all that so sickle cell is a um, blood disorder and my red blood cells are sickled it's like c in shape i'll try to maybe put a picture instead of the normal shape so um sometimes i have pain episodes and we call them crises so yeah sometimes i have excruciating pain episodes that don't only need um painkillers to like the pain the oral painkillers it needs um that and some other injections and an iv drip to like hydrate my body and just um help the blood flow and all that so i not feeling okay at the moment so i'm going to just um postponed the the remodeling until i feel okay i was actually the shoot i was supposed to do was actually for my birthday because my birthday will be on the 16th of september but by the looks of it i won't be having my shoot my photo shoot. i just wanted um a photo i usually like to have photo shoots on my birthday for my birthday just to symbolize like a new person a new i rarely have photo shoots i actually have photo shoots once in a year and that is always on my birthday but now that won't be um possible so yeah i started feeling bad yesterday morning and so um one of my doctor friends just came to the house because sometimes when i feel pain like both my legs were very painful i couldn't um even walk or yeah so sometimes i just need help um to do the things that yeah i'm not able to do so he came in yesterday and gave me an injection and um some iv drips and he came like thrice no he came twice yeah in around um noon and then he came later at night around 10 to just help me give me some injections to help me like sleep because the pains sometimes are so excruciating and yeah so um he just came by um, a few minutes ago and 
he drew my blood and he went to check for malaria and infections because I'm prone to infections I get infections a lot like bacterial infections in the blood and whatever and anything any small thing can trigger my pain episodes like maybe the weather changes and maybe it's too cold and I don't keep warm or maybe I have stress or um, maybe I have malaria and whatever so yeah so any small thing can literally trigger it so I just decided to come here and share um, this part of my life because not a lot of people know that and I was debating whether to share it or not but I decided um, you know it's me this is who I am and this is how I was born and I don't need to be hiding it and yeah I'm not ashamed of it and honestly sickle cell doesn't define me and I don't always let it put me down and most of the people I meet and find out I have sickle cell they usually think that I'm lying because I don't always look like someone who has sickle cell and yeah so I just wanted to come here and share that and yeah just to tell you guys to um pray for me i hope i'll be feeling better by uh saturday so that i can celebrate my birthday though i don't really have anything planned for that day but i don't know i'm just happy to be alive and well and yeah i'm just happy to be here there are people who want to be here but they can't be here but god has given me the chance and the opportunity to be here it's not because i'm special or anything but he has given me the chance to be here he made me be here today and i have come this far because of him and i always just have a positive mindset and until today i had decided that i won't be telling anyone that i have um sickle cell but then i was just sitting down and thinking and i was like no this is me i'm just me being me and this is part of me so you either accept me the way i am or you don't and you just can't love half of me or you have to accept someone the way they are like fully accept them so yeah so i have sickle cell anemia i've had it ever since birth and yeah I'm surviving. I'm a survivor and honestly I'm a warrior for even just <sighs> I don't know but yeah. So that is the part that you guys didn't know about me and yeah, most of my friends, some not most, some knew and I figured I can't hide it forever. I at first i was hiding it but honestly i can't hide it forever somehow someone would have just um known and blurred it out but yeah i can't really hide that i have sickle cell and i'm not ashamed of it and i accept myself the way i am and i love myself just the way i am yeah so um if you don't really know what sickle cell is maybe you can just go and google it i think this is google has all the answers and whatever so yeah so this is my it usually takes around um three to four days um with the pains like sometimes they are severe sometimes they're not but when the severe one comes that's why we call it crisis so yeah I had my crisis but um okay I usually come back like I never left okay not come back but I like I never left but 
I usually just swing back like nothing happened. So yeah, this is just one small setback, but yeah, I'll be fine and I'll go back to the way I usually am and yeah, so it's out there. That's what I just wanted to do. actually this video is just about me talking about me having civil cell and yeah. So I think that's that and I'll go back to sleeping because I'm not honestly feeling the best and I'll see you guys on the next video and remember to keep me in your prayers Bye. I'm good at mistakes